Following an extensive research program at Ecolite, a spin-off of the National Council of Research, CNR, a new technology called REMS, the core engine of the ECHO's device, has been developed. During an echography scan, the operator sets focus and depth in order to visualize the bone targets in the middle of the echographic field of view. The software automatically detects the bone interfaces and allows the identification of the region of interest. The B-mode image is obtained through an averaged envelope derived from the unfiltered robe signal sent by the probe. REMS analysis is based instead on the parallel processing of the nating row unfiltered signals of several scan lines with about a 20 frames per second frequency rate. This huge quantity of measured data, once processed, is compared with the reference gender, age and BMI matched spectral models, developed and collected from over 15,000 patients. Comparing measured data to reference spectral models allows REMS to analyze bone microarchitecture and to obtain a reliable medical report in about a minute. ECHOES, with an easy and quick examination, quantitatively assesses the bone density and the quality of microarchitecture, providing an accurate estimation of the fracture risk. During both the femoral and the lumbar echographic scan, REMS also allows to measure an innovative parameter, the fragility score which automatically assesses bone fragility and the risk of fracture on the base of a comparison with reference spectral models developed from patients with and without fractures. REMS, thanks to ongoing developments, will make it possible to investigate other musculoskeletal tissues, like cartilage, in order to monitor the onset and evolution of diseases like arthrosis. REMS will also allow to assess muscle tissue status and detect diseases like sarcopenia by early monitoring the loss of muscle mass. With REMS, it is possible to diagnose osteoporosis precisely and automatically and to estimate the risk of fracture through operator-independent analysis. Future software and hardware developments will allow the monitoring of patients for diseases like arthrosis, sarcopenia, diabetes and all types of secondary osteoporosis preventing the worsening of the disease, also making it possible to perform therapeutic monitoring programs. <laughs>